So in this short demo video, we're going to show you how we're able to create uh, this beautiful dashboard here in our D365 or in a very short amount of time without the need for a very long and expensive integration project. This might be a prototype to help secure funding for a larger project, or maybe this gets you exactly what you need. In the future, we hope that the new virtual entity feature in D365 might allow you to do a similar integration without moving the data. But based on the current feature set in D365, which is a bit limiting uh, about what you can do to accomplish with it, um, we are going to show you what you can do with Power BI in order to um, build something out for uh, yourselves that's similar to what we've done for other customers that uh, we've done that's live and dynamic systems today. So what we're going to show you is kind of the secret sauce on how we built this dashboard. And to set the stage for what we're looking at, we're going to pretend like we are a retailer, South Face Retail. And we sell our outdoor gear and apparel to distributors that sell their products in retail stores throughout the U.S. Uh, we'll say that uh, what we've built here for our sales and marketing team is a Power BI report that uses D365 account data merged together with ERP and order and inventory data, um, also maybe some warehousing data from a back office fulfillment system. And rather than build out a large integration project and model all of that data in D365, we're using Power BI to bring this data together and display it to our sales and marketing team right here in the D365 user interface. So we'll pretend like our ERP team was able to drop an Excel file into SharePoint um, every night, gets updates uh, from the previous day with inventory, catalog, and order information. And that Excel file, they can just store in SharePoint. So if we have a SharePoint tenant uh, living on our Office 365 tenant, uh, you can see that here we have that Excel data. And that Excel data has all kinds of things within it. So we've got location data for our warehouses. We've got order data. Um, we've got inventory data. And all of that data is available to us um, just from that SharePoint site. So what we do is in this scenario, what we can do in order to get this data surfaced to the sales team is use the Power BI Accelerator from Sonoma Partners. Um, it is a solution that we've created that's available to download for free on our website. And it'll quickly pull the data we need from D365 um, from the account entity and any other entities. And it'll match that account number on the account data in D365 up to the customer ID coming from our ERP so that we can join that inventory fulfillment, warehouse data, order data up against the CRM account data. So to get to that solution, we'll just go to sales and to settings and solutions. And you'll note that the Power BI Accelerator here, it's a managed solution from Sonoma Partners. And what it allows you to do is to choose any entity. And here we've, we've selected accounts, but it can really be any entity. And then you can select a view, and it can be any view, and you can have a custom view in here, what have you. And what it will do is, based upon the entity in Dynamics 365, and the view that you select, so I'll go to a custom view that I've created uh, specifically for this purpose. And what it does is it'll select all of the fields that you have within that view and it's going to generate some things for you. So the first thing it does is it generates a URL for you um, so that you can use that in all of your Power BI queries. And if you hit next, it will give you the web API query. And you can just simply select that and copy and paste that. So you can take this and you can just go into Power BI Desktop. And now that you're in Power BI Desktop, this is where you can start bringing all of this together. So you want to go up into the menu and you want to edit queries. And when it brings up that query editor, you can go ahead and create new blank query. Then under advanced editor, you can paste in that query that was generated for you uh, using the Power BI Accelerator tool from Sonoma Partners. So then you just click done and it will go ahead and retrieve all of the accounts and information that you need from CRM. So one of the things that is really nice about this is it just takes essentially the view that you set up in CRM, which any 
anybody could do. You don't need to be a developer to do that. So even a, a BA, someone who doesn't know any code, they can set up a view. It'll bring over the different columns, uh, including the display name. Um, so it's not using any kind of system name or anything that will be difficult to understand. So you can see the display name of all of the columns. It has pick lists and all of the fields and values and everything that you would expect basically to see in CRM. And it brings that into Power BI um, for you, formatted exactly the way that you had your view. So it's nice uh, that you're able to use the display names instead of the schema name. Uh, makes it easier for people who don't have a development background to kind of know exactly what they're working with. Additionally, for things like the order data, um, we're using the native SharePoint connection there. So you can see SharePoint is my source. And then all we have to do is there's a, some data manipulation, some transforms that are happening here uh, in Power BI. So uh, those built-in transformation options, they're in Power BI. You can use them to filter the rows to only show the accounts that maybe have an account number um, cut the noise out of all of the other prospect accounts that uh, are currently uh, not customers, not buying from us in this you know, retail uh, scenario. And that way you don't have to see all of the data necessarily within, um, within your Power BI dashboard. So uh, this, like I said, that fulfillment order data is using the native SharePoint connector in Power BI to connect to the Excel file dropped into the corporate SharePoint site nightly by the fulfillment team, the folks on the operations side. Uh, this file uh, only has a few tabs of data, and so we can go ahead and show the modeling of that and do a bit of cleanup of that using the transformation tools. So let me go ahead and show you what that modeling looks like here. So here is the modeling view. Uh, you can see we have the account data coming from CRM here. And you'll know that there is a connection between accounts and fulfillments. And that is based upon the account number coming from CRM and the customer ID um, on that Excel sheet, which uh, would link up to what we have in our fulfillment, our order inventory, our warehouse, our ERP system. So the customer ID field in the order data ties to the account number in D365. Um, there can be a number of data transformation steps um, to hide ID columns, change data types, make the data model more user-friendly for the sales team. Uh, you only have to do that cleanup once as Power BI is gonna save those steps. So every time you refresh the data, those steps get reapplied. So um, you make those connections, you do the data cleanup once, and then every time that Power BI runs, every time you make those um, updates, it's going to, to run all of that for you. The other thing I'll point out is there are some ancillary tables from the Excel sheets uh, coming over from that you know, mock ERP data from South Face Retail. So the locations of our warehouse, uh, inventory information related to products and then the products themselves, and then uh, zip codes uh, are kind of all the way throughout here, kind of joining the locations for accounts, orders, warehouses, et cetera. So the output of that is this nice report that we saw when we first got into the system. And this has some of the order data coming from ERP. It has the accounts coming from CRM and it mashes all of them up together. So it has things like uh, quantities. It also has warehouse information. It has um, the ship to states for the orders, uh, also the, the states for the accounts and those are coming from dynamic CRM. It also is able to toggle on specific attributes that we put into dynamic CRM. So this eligible for preferred pricing, eligible for rebates, uh, those are custom fields that we put on the account entity in CRM that we can now toggle on and off so we can see are most of our customers using preferred pricing or not. And if we you know, look at customers who have that preferred pricing, for example, um, are the orders higher? Um, do they spend more money? Uh, do we get more orders from those particular customers? If we look at customers who are eligible for rebates, uh, are those orders higher? Where are they coming from? So on and so forth. Down at the bottom, this is where the data you can see is mashed together. We've got some data coming from CRM, like account name, number, uh, but then there's also data coming from ERP, um, like the order quantities. So this is a, a mashup of that data in one list. The other nice thing about this is uh, we built a, a drill through onto here. So I can go behind that dashboard and I can see the actual raw data, the, the orders that came um, out of that particular warehouse, that particular company. Um, and I can kind of see that uh, based upon what's filtered on my report. 
So if I filtered into a specific customer and I use the report, then uh, I am going to go ahead and see the uh, raw order data specifically for that customer. If I remove all of those filters and I'm looking at orders and all that information across the board, and I do that drill through again, you'll see that this is the all up data. And there's a nice little visualization over here for our different types of products, and you can drill into those as well. So once you're done with uh, kind of manipulating all this in Power BI, you can go ahead and save this. And once you've saved it, you just publish it back up to your Office 365 tenant, publish it back up to Power BI. So now let's take a quick look at what this looks like again in Dynamics 365. So uh, we put that onto a dashboard. And on this dashboard, we're actually displaying a custom web resource that Sonoma Partners built that allows you to see the report and fully interact with this report in D365 from that user interface. That way you don't have to jump out to Power BI to use it. Now you do have the option of creating Power BI dashboards um, here in D365, but it doesn't give you the same flexibility or horsepower that this particular report does. So uh, the web resource that we have, the Power BI Accelerator that we have, really gives you a lot of great things. It's totally functional. I can filter and slice and dice the data right here from the D365 interface. So I can select apparel, note everything changes, or I could choose gear and everything changes. Uh, on the grid, I can even drill through and look at specific customers, or if I wanted to use like a pick list, I could say, just show me the orders from these particular sellers. And you can actually open up the records coming from Dynamics 365 right on here. So here's a link to that D365 account record. And so it will open that record up right from the dashboard. Uh, it also will open up websites. So there's a URL field here as well. So if you have the URL for the company website, in CRM, uh, it will display uh, from Power BI. You can link out to that. So what's nice is uh, with all of this, I've pulled in a lot of useful attributes from D365 and merged that data with order, catalog, warehouse, inventory data without having to do a lot of heavy data integration work that's usually pretty costly, takes a lot of time, takes a lot of skills. Um, a, a business analyst, someone who doesn't know any code, could do a lot of this uh, with the Power BI Accelerator from Cinema Partners and also from the report dashboard web resource that we can provide for you. So you don't have to worry about data being out of sync between systems. You can get this to your sales teams pretty quickly and easily, and it'll really help you uh, know what your goals are and uh, what your customers have been ordering and what they haven't been ordering. Because remember, that order drill through is also available here. So I can see that drill through embedded against a specific account, see all of their order details, and it's all live and working right here in the D365 interface. So this looks great in the desktop. Uh, it also can be configured for mobile. So uh, if you go into the Power BI desktop editor and in the editor, you can actually choose a phone layout uh, that allows you to manipulate this however you want. So here you can do things like you can move tiles around you can make things smaller or larger, and you can configure it so it displays better on a mobile view. So if you open up the Power BI app on your phone, this is the view that you'll get. It looks a little bit different from what we saw on the desktop just because it's displaying in a slightly more mobile friendly manner. This uses the same credentials that you would use for Power BI or Office 365 and you can do that on your phone. Uh, the only caution I would provide is that the links that you have uh, to the data, so we had those, those links out to the uh, account and also to the website, those will open up in your browser and it's not the greatest experience in, in the world. So um, if you wanna experiment with uh, links to the mobile app for D365, that might be a smarter way to go as opposed to using just the, the native linking that um, that we've built into this Power BI dashboard. So that was the quick whirlwind tour of how we kind of uh, made the sausage for this Power BI report on the D365 desktop interface. If you have questions about the Power BI Accelerator, or if you have questions about the special custom web resource dashboard we have for Power BI, 
please let us know. We're happy to answer your questions and to give you more information at sonomapartners.com.